boy. You're finished already. Look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life You are Hello guys, welcome. We are live on air. Welcome everybody, God bless you. Let me say hi to our brother Phil Herrera, TM Crosspulse, Tamara, iPhone 3G, our beloved admins, Carrie Ann, Radioactive, Bojan, African Christian, Galon Sham, Wouter, one of our supporters. Uh, thank you so much for your donation on Patreon, my friend. God bless you. Uh, Ilan Kayali, Jane Miller, Riaz Koreshi, hello, my friend. How are you? Coco Chanel, Constance Constantinia, why I, li I like your name, my friend. Welcome. Lizzie. There are many of you guys, sorry if I'm not mentioning all of your names. Thank you for joining in. We, without you guys, we cannot do this. Please share the link of this live show on social media and invite your friends, please, so we can start. As you notice, guys, for the people who watched our live show for the first time, we made some improvements for our designs we created some new designs i hope you are liking what you're seeing i hope also that you liked our count down uh, starting scene uh because of the lockdown guys i have now finally the time to work on my layout uh on my designs plain warner you want to be mentioned well hello my friend how are you plain warner welcome nice to see you too yeah, so uh, we have uh, we have done some improvements, you know, some modern designs. So I hope you are enjoying this, guys. I hope you are enjoying it as I'm enjoying this. Well, my baby is doing okay. Uh, two months, two months left, guys. So keep us in your prayers, guys. Me and my wife and my unborn son. Two two months, and I'm going to become a daddy for the first time. So please. Keep us in your prayers. Keep the enemies in your prayers. They're always doing an amazing job. And also pray for the Muslims so that their eyes can be seen. They can see that Jesus is the Lord, the Savior. Without him, we cannot do anything. I'm replaceable, guys. You don't need me. You, de you do not need Rob Christian. I am replaceable. All right, guys. But if God wants me to teach, so be it. Thank you, Carrie Ann, for your amazing donation. You're an amazing sister. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Uh, Carrie Ann says in the live chat, in the super chat, God bless you and your family. Thank you so much, Carrie Ann. God bless you too. God bless your family. Stay safe, especially from the Corona virus. I mean the coronavirus. Stay whole, stay safe. Let us start, guys. <clears throat> With a, a nice prayer, as always, so God can bless our live stream. Please pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to his name. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. Lord, thank you for your grace. Jesus is risen. And yes, he is risen indeed. Al-Masih qam, haqqan qam. That's what we say in the Arabic as speaking Christians. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death. And thank you for my lovely audience, day in, day out. My lovely subscribers who are always supporting me for the last year. Please bless them and bless their loved ones and families. 
Please God, keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this coronavirus. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give in to any discouragement, deception, taqiyya, any makr, especially the makr of Allah and his prophet, any lies or any doubt. Please, Lord, help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who might be in need and are seeking for the truth. Please, Lord, open also their eyes so they can be saved like we are saved through the blood of Jesus Christ, his name, glory to his name, who is above all names, our Lord, our Savior, the King of Kings. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today so that I can speak the truth without any error or any shame. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody. We are live on air. And today we will have the opportunity, Lord willing, to expose one of the Muslim heroes. One of the Muslim heroes who is calling himself Adnan Rashid. As you see, this is Adnan Rashid. He goes on Speaker's Corner. So in this part three of this series, because we made part one and part two, this is going to be part three and expose him and show you that he's nothing but a hypocrite. Show you that any Muslim apologist who claims to be an apologist is nothing but a hypocrite. On top of that, anything what Adnan Rashid is going to say or his prophet what his prophet said will be used against him and his prophet in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is awake. I hope Allah is not asleep and will be their personal lifeguard, their personal defense, their personal attorney present during today's hearing to defend both of them in the court of law, he and his prophet. Last but not least, when I finish my teaching, we will have a nice Q&A session with our guests in the live chat. So guys, you need to wait if you want to call me today. You have to wait. You have to hold your horses. I know many of you uh, likes to call us. Yesterday we had a live show and there were so many calls. I could not take all of them. Sorry, guys. I know, you know, it's a blessing to talk to you guys. It's an honor to talk to you live on air. But, you know, we have a very small short window so we have to deal with the time that we have all right guys so when we open up skype muslims are also welcome to call us live on air on skype for a nice and respectful discussion my skype id if the admins want to provide it in the chat my skype id is the rob christian again the rob christian i'll open up my skype when we are done spanking this liar this hypocrite that you see here on the screen, Mr. Adnan Rashid, the wannabe Arab Pakistani or Afghani, whatever he is, this guy is. So, guys, let us start. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, destroy it. Click on the notification bell to receive notifications too. And let me also provide my YouTube link. Maybe you can invite your friends, download our videos afterwards, use them. If you like some parts that we are going to talk about today, download the video, cut the part that you like, and please share it around to show the Muslims that they are nothing but victims of this man-made cult called Islam. They are victims of the prophet of Islam the self-proclaimed prophet of Islam. And for the people who want to uh, help us through Patreon, support our work, you can become a patron on my Patreon account to help us out and support our full-time ministry. Guys, we are in full-time ministry, so you understand that we are trying to put as much as time in research behind the screen 
but also in front of you we try to do what we can so let us let us start guys let us start as we know in the Quran if we go to chapter 3 as a small introduction before we start with Adnan in chapter 3 Surat Ali Amran ayah 54 that you see here on the screen it says then they schemed and Allah counted their schemes by schemes of his own Allah is the best of schemers Allah is the best of all deceivers I mean I understand why someone like Adnan Rashid is going to try to use deception use taqiyya use lies and makar of Allah right because Allah is the best of deceiver he gave you he allowed you to use taqiyya of course Adnan Rashid who are bankrupt they need to use makar the same maker that Allah used. Allah is the best of all deceivers. For the people who do not believe us that maker is deception, deceit, he is Google Translate. I mean, maybe, maybe Rob Christian is lying. It doesn't say that RC. Well, yeah, look, this is the word maker. Cunning. Let me go. Here are other synonyms. Deceit. Deception to trick. So Allah is the best trickster. Allah is the best deceiver. And Muslims, of course, since Allah and Muhammad are the best pattern of conduct, they use deception. So they will also use deception. Mecca, right? Can you imagine, guys? And <laughs> Allah the Mecca, right, is one of his 99 names. He is, one, he is called the deceiver. One of his 99 names, there are by the way no 99 names in the Quran to be found, right? There are 26 missing names of Allah. I'm like CP, RG Nation says you are like CP. Uh, that's an honor my friend. If, if you are comparing me to my dear brother in Christ, Christian Prince, then that's an honor to be compared to him I love Christian Prince also guys always keep Christian Prince and other apologists in your prayers they are always doing an amazing job Christian Prince I mean, true legend true legend a living legend so as you see guys Allah is the best deceiver so of course Adnan Rashid is going to use the same taqiyya same deception like his Allah and his prophet so guys <clears throat> let us play the video of Adnan Rashid and we will go from there. Let's see if I can find the video, guys. So we can play it. Uh, all right. This is the video, guys. Oh, something terrible happened with his face. I don't know. This is the video that Adnan Rashid uploaded. Uh, I think that was yesterday. If I'm not mistaken, he uploaded this video yesterday. So let us play the video. Let me put on my headset. Guys, you have to put your headset on too. So you can focus with me and listen to what this Muslim apologist, Adnan Rashid, has to say. And let's see if we can spank him and his prophet. Let us see if anything that he is going to say, we can use it against him and his fake prophet in the court of law. Let me play the video. Also, Christian missionaries have been using another strategy to defend the Bible, and that is by mocking Islam, mocking ah, the Muslims, mocking really? the Prophet of Islam. This strategy is also not working because the Bible still remains corrupt. This well, is not a defense of the Bible. By mocking Islam and the Prophet of Islam or the religion of Islam, yeah. the Bible is not suddenly going to become uncorrupted. So this is a very important point I wanted to raise. Uh -huh. Mockery more commentaries, okay, uh, laughing and joking and sarcasm is mm -hmm. not going to take away our arguments and our belief. We will continue to love Islam and our Prophet as we always did. And it is a condition of faith for the Muslims to love our Prophet. Now, when Christian missionaries want to take 
the message of the gospel the loving message of the gospel to uh, the, the Muslims, loving yeah, yeah how yeah. do you love someone by insulting someone they love imagine if i came to christian missionaries and the first thing i said your mother is x y and z no you didn't are you kidding me adnan no you didn't man you did it again didn't you no way guys please tell me he didn't just say that didn't his friends tell him that on the internet everything that is being said, everything that is seen cannot be unseen, Adnan Rashid? No way, Adnan! You couldn't let it go, could you? You had to throw your prophet under the bus again in another video. Why, man? Adnan, why? You know, your Muslim dad must be proud about you, man. I'm going to make you the joke of every Muslim today. You had to become an apostate again, right Adnan? You had to do it in this video again, right? Adnan, oh Adnan. If Muhammad didn't want to be mocked by us. Guys, I hope you're listening. If Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, didn't want to be mocked by us, then Muhammad shouldn't have fondled a baby girl like Aisha by tying her with his penis between her legs and he shouldn't have slept with her when she was nine years old that's a disgusting thing to do we call that pedophilia Mr. Adnan Rashid your prophet shouldn't walked around covered in semen so that his child bride Aisha had to constantly scrape the semen off of him your prophet shouldn't tell his followers to suck on each other's fingers for barakah, for blessings. Your prophet and his companions, i.e. the Sahaba, shouldn't hire prostitutes and sleep with them for a short period of time, which you Muslims call the muta, prostitution marriage, a temporary prostitution marriage of the pay Muhammad and his sock puppet Allah you call that muta right uh, Adnan Adnan you ask us why we mock your prophet your prophet shouldn't have taken the wife of his adopted son and said subhana muqallib al qulub glory to the one i.e. Allah who turns heart subhan muqallib al qulub Muhammad said and he started to flirt with his own daughter-in-law and blaming Allah for making him fall in love with Zainab bint Jahsh, Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. He blamed Allah for flirting with her and falling in love with her. Subhan muqallib al qulub Muhammad said. Glory to Allah who turns heart. Adnan, and you dare to ask us why we mock your prophet who committed incest with his own daughter. I mean your daughter-in-law is your own daughter for God's sakes. One of the 10 privileges for Muhammad that no other Muslim man had is that if Muhammad looks upon any married woman, her husband must divorce her immediately and hand her over to Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, so that Muhammad can start to F her immediately. And you dare to ask us why we mock your prophet? Your prophet shouldn't have swore an oath that he would stop have sex with his female slave Maria Al-Qubtiya. He said, I'm not going to sleep with her, with his own sex slave basically, his slave. Honest, she wasn't his sex slave by the way, because in Islam, I just made a mistake guys, sorry. In Islam, a sex slave is only a sex slave if you capture her, she is going to be the booty in war. So Maria Al-Qubtiya was given as a gift to him. She wasn't a captive of war. So Muhammad, when he was in the house of his one of his wives, right? He told his wife to go get him something. And when his wife came back, he found she found him sleeping, having sexual intercourse with Maria Al-Qubtiya, the slave of his wife. And you ask us why we mock your prophet, Mr. Adnan Rashid? Muhammad said then, he came back and said, Allah 
told me to pr to break my promise. He, you know, after he was busted by his wives, he said, "No, I won't do it anymore." But later, an ayah sends, uh, is sent down, so called an ayah, of course, divine revelation come down to help the penis of Muhammad out. And Muhammad says, no, no, Allah told me to break my promise. He made it halal for me to sleep with Maria al Qubtiya. In other words, again, Muhammad blaming his suck puppet God that he calls Allah to help him out again from this disaster. By saying, yeah, you know what? Allah is the one who ordered me to break my oath. To break my promise that I'm not going to have sex with the female slave again. Your prophet shouldn't have delivered the satanic verses, Mr. Adnan Rashid. And smack Allah in the face. Pow! In the face of Allah. And proving that Allah couldn't keep his promise in the Quran. That he would protect his slaves from Satan. Where was Allah when Satan was doing mind control for the Prophet of Islam? Was Allah asleep again? So Muhammad smacked Allah in the face by proving that Allah is nothing but a fake dead God. A God of empty promises. Right Adnan Rashid? And you ask us why we mock your Prophet? Your prophet shouldn't go around by claiming that he is a victim of black magic spell that was giving him delusional thoughts and false beliefs. And you ask us why we mock your prophet, Mr. Adnan Rashid. So your prophet shouldn't have done all of that if he didn't want us to mock him for all these embarrassing disasters that he created for himself and his followers, the Muslims. How are you going to ignore all these hilarious stuff, Mr. Adnan Rashid? How do you ask us to ignore all of this funny stuff about your prophet and not mocking him, right? You want us to be silent, Mr. Adnan Rashid, or quiet about all of this and not expose or mock him? No way, man. You didn't, man. You did it again, didn't you, Adnan? <laughs> Lord of mercy. Can anyone hold in the live chat, guys? Can anyone hold in that much laughter or stay silent after what you just heard about the Prophet of Islam? How are we not going to make fun of this liar and deceiver, the fake Prophet of Islam? Tell me, man, Adnan. Please tell me, man. It's impossible to not mock and laugh about your prophet and his disasters that he created in Islam, man oh man. But wait, but wait guys, wait, wait, wait. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira. Did Adnan just became an apostate guys? Did he just make fun of his own prophet? Yes, Adnan, you did make fun of your prophet and you left Islam again, didn't you? Let me show you what Adnan just, why Adnan just left Islam, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you how he left Islam again and how he just destroyed himself like his hero Ahmad Didad 35 years ago. You saw my video two days ago, right? As we showed you, right, in one of our last videos. Let me show you what kind of hypocrite this so-called Muslim apologist Adnan Rashid is. And he always leaves Islam when he makes another video, like this video. And we showed you that before, right? In part one and part two of this series. So how did Adnan become an apostate and leave Islam again, guys? Let me show you how your career is over, as, as if it was not already over after part one and part two, but let me show you and show you again and again how your career is over, Mr. Adnan Rashid, and you can start looking for another job and how your religion is over because you just destroyed and decimated Muhammad. Why? Why, Rob Christian? I'm going to quote Muhammad. Guys, I'm going to quote what Muhammad said. And we're going to also quote Abu Bakr from Muslim sources. Let me show you guys how Muhammad spoke. Let me show you what Muhammad said. 
Muhammad said, guys, the following. If anyone, and I quote, Muhammad said, if anyone is proud about Al-Jahiliyyah, which is the pre-Islamic period or era, in other words, just see it as it is. If anyone is proud about Al-Jahiliyyah, then let him bite his father's penis. And do not use this as a metaphor, Muhammad said. Muhammad said to the unbelievers, to his Sahaba, go bite on your father's penis if you're proud about your pre-Islamic period. And guys, don't use this, do not use this as a metaphor. Say, say it as it is, go bite the penis of your father, as Muhammad said. In other words, say it as it is. Insult that man. Just tell him that to his face. If you're proud about what your family used to do, in, uh, you know, maybe you had a rich family or whatnot before Islam, insult that guy. Tell him to go bite his father's penis. But hold on, Adnan, Adnan, hold on, man, wait. I'm not finished with you and your prophet. Didn't these people love their fathers i mean you're you're insulting someone's father guys imagine muhammad is the prophet of islam is insulting someone's father didn't these people have fathers didn't they love their fathers i mean come on man you're insulting their own blood for god's sakes but this so-called prophet of islam told them to bite on their father's penis wow this muhammad guys Surely this Muhammad is a true man of God, right? He is a true prophet, right? But Adnan, but Adnan, as you heard him, he, he just said, you Christian missionary, you Christian apologist, you are criticizing the prophet of Islam, you are criticizing our prophet. It's like basically you're insulting someone, you go to someone and you basically insult his mother. Didn't your prophet, Mr. Adnan Yashid, you hypocrite munafiq. Adnan, you hypocrite munafiq. Didn't your prophet just insulted someone's father by saying, go bite on the penis of your father? Adnan, in other words, you called your prophet a hypocrite munafiq. Congratulations, buddy. Adnan, give him an applause, guys. Give Adnan Rashid an applause. Give him an applause, man. You are out of Islam because you just called your prophet a hypocrite munafiq. Because your prophet insulted people. Congratulations, man. You are out of Islam, Mr. Adnan Rashid. Because you cannot call Muhammad a hypocrite and call yourself a Muslim, my friend. I know you are watching Adnan Rashid. I know my video will receive you. Adnan Rashid, if you are truly a man of honor, make a video, drop down your pants and spank yourself for us and upload it on YouTube so we can, you know, enjoy that video. <clears throat> so Adnan Rashid, you just destroyed your prophet and called him a munafiq. Well done, man. You're out of Islam. I salute you. You just single-handedly destroyed your own career as a Muslim apologist. Is there any Muslim who wants to follow this guy on YouTube? Any Muslim? Wow. By the penis of your fathers, Muslim. That's what your prophet said? Wow. But can we also show you or, or, or maybe see if someone like Abu Bakr, the first caliph of the Muslim world. Abu Bakr, the father of Aisha, the mother of the believers. What he said to the unbelievers. What did Abu Bakr say? We know that Muhammad said, go by the penis of your fathers. What did Abu Bakr say? Well, Abu Bakr also used bad language and he said the following in the English translation of the history of Al-Tabari, the victor of Islam, volume 8, page 76. That's the reference. History of Al-Tabari, volume 8, page 76. Abu Bakr said, and I quote, go suck the clitoris of a lad. What? Go suck the clitoris of a lad. 
This is from the mouth of the rightly guided caliph, the first guy, right? Immediately after Muhammad. Abu Bakr, the father of the mother of the believers, Aisha, the baby bride of Muhammad. Abu Bakr insulted Allah, who is the Meccan idol, right? One of the Meccan idols. And we know that the pagans of Mecca, they adored and loved Allah, right? Because Allah, like her sisters, Al-Uzza wal Manat, was an intercessor for the Quraysh, right guys? We, we proved it to you in, in other videos. She used to carry the prayers of the pagans, of Quraysh, right? The Quraysh pagans to Allah because these idols were crane idols, right? Right? The high cranes. They used to carry the prayers and they were intercessors all the way to Allah. Right? Because they could fly and they carried the prayers of the Quraysh to the supreme moon idol Allah. The God of the pre-Islamic Meccans. The Arabian Meccans. The Quraysh. So the Meccans loved their goddesses and yet as we showed you Abu Bakr insulted the unbelievers and their idols. So Mr. Adnan Rashid, are you calling Muhammad and the number one guy after him, Abu Bakr, are you calling them and condemning them to be munafiq, hypocrites? Or are you the hypocrite, wannabe Arab Muslim? You're a wannabe Arab, but you are also a wannabe Muslim from now on. Guys, this guy is out of Islam, man. He just condemned Abu Bakr and he condemned his own prophet. So Abu Bakr's response to the pagans was, guys, Abu Bakr, the first caliph, his response to the pagans was, go perform oral sex on your goddesses, Allah. Wow! Go suck the clitoris of Allah, Abu Bakr said. Allah was one of the idols, as we said, of the pre-Islamic Meccans. Here is more. Didn't the unbelievers of Mecca come to Muhammad Muhammad's uncle to work out a scenario so he would stop their gods, the attacks on their gods, right? Because Muhammad used to attack them, you know, insult their gods. They asked Muhammad to stop insulting and mocking their idols. But Muhammad refused to do that. So why are you asking us to not mock your prophet, but your prophet used to mock and insult the idols of the Quraysh. Adnan, did you just again call your prophet a hypocrite? Adnan, oh Adnan. Oh boy, oh boy, man. Can we, guys, guys, this guy really deserves a big, big rose, man. Give him a rose in the chat. Guys in the chat, give him a rose. Adnan is a cutie pie, man. He just called his prophet a munafiq. Well done, man. You are truly one of the heroes of Islam in 2020 by calling Muhammad and Abu Bakr munafiqeen, munafiqoon. Bravo, Mr. Adnan Rashid. Adnan, you just said you have the true way of reaching people. You Muslims, you are so kind when you debate and you know, as a Muslim, you have your own respectful way of reaching people. And you are condemning anyone, you are condemning anyone who is mocking your prophet. Yet your prophet and one of his companions, Abu Bakr, as we mentioned, did the same. You hypocrite. You munafiq, Adnan Rashid. You are out of Islam. You just apost become an apostate, basically. Guys, do you see the double standard here? Do you see the hypocrisy of this man, this Adnan? This guy is so stupid. I, I, I can I can understand. Guys, Muslims who are watching his videos. Uh, don't you see that this guy is trying to either go to trick you or he, you know, he, he forgot for a second that he, by asking us to stop mocking his prophet, that at the same time he's condemning his own prophet, calling him a fake. Calling him a scammer, a munafiq like him. As you see, Muhammad displayed in his life how he should respond 
as a Muslim to the unbelievers. Go bite on the penis of your fathers, Muhammad said, right? And according to chapter 4, guys, chapter 4, ayah 65, it says, you can have no say or resistance against what Muhammad says as a Muslim. You have to always obey Muhammad according to the Quran, obey Muhammad and obey Allah as a Muslim at all times. You cannot say no, we cannot obey Muhammad, else you're going to go be out of Islam. You're, you should stop calling yourself a Muslim. Let me drink something guys, my, my throat is killing me. So this is what we can find in the Quran. When Muhammad tells you, commands you to go bite on the penis of your fathers if you're proud about the Jahiliyyah. And we see, let's, let's say also in chapter 33, ayah 21, Muhammad is the best of example, he's the pattern of conduct, yet the best of example teaches Muslims how to treat unbelievers, right? Remember the hadith? Where Muhammad said, drive them to the nearest of the road. Right? And how he's mocking the Quraysh, insulting their gods. And how you as Muslims should react to other people's beliefs. Yet Adnan here, he's telling you, right? That, you know, we Muslims, you know. And actually, Adnan, clearly you didn't pay attention in your madrasa in your Muslim school, right? When you went to learn from your Imam, when your Imam was teaching you about the life of your Prophet, you didn't pay attention what Muhammad used to say and do. Right, Adnan Rashid? And you wanna teach people about Islam, man? Man, oh man, you didn't, man. This video is the nail on your coffin, Mr. Adnan Rashid. This video that you made is Finally, in part three, it's over. It's game over for you. Like it was game over for Ahmad Didad, man. In our video, I just showed you when he made that challenge, that embarrassing challenge where Josh McDowell answered him from the book of Revelation, chapter one, right? Chapter one, verse 18. So basically what Adnan is saying, guys, no, please no, don't follow Muhammad. He is completely wicked and immoral to follow. That's what Adnan is saying, right? Basically, in a nutshell. I reject Muhammad's decision, is Adnan saying, about how to do these things. And he does not realize this. Do you realize, Adnan, in how many ways you called your own prophet a hypocrite? <sighs> Guys, I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, guys, right? I don't know what to say uh, anymore about this Adnan, man. Adnan, what's wrong with you, man? What are, what's wrong with you? Why are you condemning your own prophet? Muslims, do we have Muslims in the chat? Guys, do we have Muslims in the chat? Welcome, uh, Rational Phobia, welcome. God bless. Guys, was this a good spanking? What do you think? Do you think after three parts, three part, part one, two, and three, it's over for Adnan? Are you recommending Adnan to stop making videos and making a fool out of himself and mock his own prophet? Condemning his own prophet? I think uh, so someone who is who calls himself a Muslim, he should go, maybe you're watching, go contact Adnan Rashid to stop making videos because we are using your own videos, Adnan Rashid, against you and against your fake prophet in the court of law. We're showing you how Adnan Rashid is calling his own prophet a disgusting hypocrite. All right? Adnan, your career is over, man. And since you're asking us to stop mocking your prophet, well, we, we can't help ourselves, man. When we read your sources, we have to mock Muhammad and expose him. Because one of the examples, guys, we're going to show you how Muhammad, he lusted after Muslim women, married 
married Muslim women. Yes, you heard it correctly. Rob Christian, speaking from cave, Hira, Hira. Yes, yes, yes. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. Even lost it, lost it after Muslim married women, women, women. Married, married, women, women, women. No way. Yes way. Yes way. Guys, is my sound still good? I hope my sound is still coming crystal clear. Is my sound good, guys? <clears throat> is my sound good? Please give me one if you can hear. Okay. Let's see if we can show you one of the privileges of Muhammad. Okay, it's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Guys, if we go to the Tafsir, if we go to the Tafsir of chapter 33, this is Tafsir for Quran chapter 33, privileges. More than 10 privileges that no one else had. No Muslim man had the same privilege as Muhammad. And the 10th privilege that you see highlighted here, saying the following, إِذْ وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَىٰ إِمْرَأَ وَاجِبْ عَلَىٰ زَوْجِهَا طَلَاقُهَا وَحَلَّ لَهُ نِكَاحُهَا 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 Oh, sorry guys. Uh, yeah. Not sure what happened there with my voice. So, according to the, to the tenth Al-Ashr, right? The tenth privilege for Muhammad only and only for Muhammad. If Muhammad looks and lost after a woman who is married, she is married, a Muslim lady, her husband, her husband must immediately divorce her and give her to Muhammad, so Muhammad can immediately start to F her. And the word is nikah, nikahuha. It became halal for him to F her immediately. Wow! Guys, is this not, I mean, uh, Adnan Rashid, you, you are saying to us to stop mocking your prophet, but Adnan Rashid, how can we stop mocking Muhammad? How can we hold ourselves back from stop, stopping, you know, mocking Muhammad while we can read in your own Muslim sources that any woman that Muhammad lost after two, uh, you know, imagine, Guys, imagine yourself. Put yourself in the shoes of a Muslim man. Your wife, she's walking on the streets of Mecca or Medina. Muhammad is, is having a picnic on the side of the road. And the woman passes by and Muhammad says, Wow, look at how beautiful she is, Muhammad saying, you know. And he starts to lust for her. He falls in love with her. He starts to flirt with your wife. Do you know, according to... This tafsir of the Quran, you have to divorce your wife and give her for, to Muhammad so Muhammad can immediately start to ahem <coughs> her. F her, yeah. And you, Mr. Adnan Rashid, are commanding us to stop mocking your prophet? The Arabian prophet who lusted even after married Muslim women. Guys, you really need to download this video and share it all around social media, all right? Guys, I hope you enjoyed the spanking of Hadnan Rashid. I think it's a good thing to grab something to drink, right? Give me two minutes or something, I'll be right back. I need to get myself a drink because my voice is gone and we will take calls. So small coffee period guys and we'll be right back. I'm gonna manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruto un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. 
Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruto un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruto un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruto un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruto un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you uh, for allowing us to get something to drink. So let me open up Skype and see if we can get calls. Maybe we have a Muslim in the live chat who wants to defend Adnan Rashid or his prophet. You can call us live, guys. My Skype is open. If, is, is there a Muslim, guys? Let us see if there's a Muslim. If there's no Muslim, we will allow Christians to call. Muslims go first, guys. Sorry. Do we have any, do we, do we have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to... Call us live and tell us why are we lied. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. You can see it in the live chat. The admins are providing the Skype ID. Do we have any Muslim? Uh, Dali Lee, Dali Lee, you're always spamming my comment section. You are spamming it like crazy. Why don't you commit jihad, take your sword out and call me and say Allahu Akbar, don't forget to say inshallah, call me, right? say inshallah three times, call me and let us have some fun. I mean, if your prophet would be alive today, he would be really ashamed about you, right? Muhammad, I mean, maybe guys, maybe we should buy a DeLorean, right? Maybe we should buy a time travel machine somewhere, maybe there's somewhere a time travel machine. Beat me up, Scotty. Go back in time and give Muhammad and his Sahaba keyboards instead of swords. You know, the Muslims of today, they are all becoming keyboard jihadists, right? Why are you so scared, man? Uh, this is Al-Qurtubi, man. Uh, Dali Li. Call me. And I, I will make you the donkey of the chat. And I'm not trying to insult any donkey. I challenge you to call me and read this Arabic sentence from the Tafsir al qurtufi for chapter 33, ayah 50. Read it out loud and translate so we can have some fun. All right? This is the al qurtubi Yeah, and uh, our admins are providing the link. All right? One of the admins already provided the link for the source that is on the screen. I challenge you to read it and translate and show me where I lied. Show everybody that Rob Christian is a liar. I just read it for you. Come on, man. Don't be ashamed. My Skype is open. Call me. Do we have any Muslims? Come on, guys. Don't be scared. We know that Adnan Rashid is too scared. I know he's watching our videos, guys. I know, I know. I know my videos are reaching all speakers corner Muslims. I know. I mean, yeah. yes, exactly. Patriot 316 says, Dalili, your prophet lusted over children. 
Don't you think he is going to lust for Muslim women who are married to? Al Ashir Idh Idha Waqa Basarahu Ala Imra Wajib Ala Zojiha. If he, you know, if he sees a married woman, right? If he sees a woman, her husband, Zojiha, must immediately divorce her and it becomes halal for him to do nikah to her. For who becomes it halal? For Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam. I challenge you to read it and translate it. Live on air, Mr. Dalili. Guys, I think Dalili is a Pakistani or an Indian Muslim. He doesn't know Arabic. He knows if he's going to call, I'm going to spank him and use everything that he's going to say on the mic in the court of law. Anything you Muslims say, if you call yourself a man and you dare to call me, anything that you say, I promise you, I'm going to use it against you and your prophet in the court of law. That's my promise to you. Anything you say. Does it sound fair, guys? Welcome, Sunil Sunni. Welcome. Any Muslim? Okay, I, I think, guys, we have at least two dislikes. But the Muslims who are watching are too scared to call us live, to refute us. Only thing they can do is change topic. Let's see if we can call <clears throat> Christians back who want to be called back. I, th I think I got a uh, call. Was it you, Mr. Collegians? You want me to call you? Collegians 117? Do you want me to call you? I'm not sure, what, what did you say? Okay, let me call you my friend. Picking up your phone, man. Hmm. Last last time. Hmm. It says connecting now. Anyway. Uh let's see if we anyone else want to call? Guys, send me a message, I will call you. Hello? Hey, brother. Hey, welcome. You're live on air. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? I'm a Christian. Oh, welcome, my friend. Welcome, my friend. How are you? I'm good. I, I, I told you. I told you last. Uh, I think a month ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I see all your videos on uh, on air, live yeah. on air. Wow, that's and, uh, good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually ex-Muslim. I I live Islam. Uh, Couple of years oh, ago, I think I think I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What do you think about today's uh, spanking of Adnan Rashid? Adnan Rashid, he let me laugh. And and the, the <laughs> problem, the big problem is in in uh, in all his videos. In yeah. all his videos, I see in speaking corner in uh, in uh, in the UK. Yeah. It's very funny because every Christian, because a lot of Christians there on speaker corner, talk to Adnan and and he he, he think he's the man. Yeah, he he stand there like like I don't know it's 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 crazy because yeah. you see the guy standing there with Muhammad hijab and, yeah. and all all the guys that standing there mm -hmm. and it's all it's it's funny because it's every, it's a comedy uh, show right it's nothing but a comedy show yeah and the and they laugh like yeah. every every Muslim there and and you they, they try to, to they, they don't have love my brother yeah. they don't have love they don't Bro, show love did you did you see how Adnan Rashid condemned his own prophet when he said why are you uh, uh, acting like this, you Christian apologist, why are you... He, he just condemned his own prophet because his own prophet is insulting and mocking. So yeah, when I'm... you're condemning the Christian apologist, you're condemning your own hypocrite prophet, you're calling Muhammad a hypocrite, you're out of Islam. So Adnan Rashid is not even a real Muslim. No, because right? every... every Yeah, I, I, I believe that also because... Uh, the, 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 uh, um, 
the guys there on speaking corner like Mohammed Hijab and uh, and uh, Hijab and, 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 yeah. and 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 all his friends because mm. they, they they make so many videos they make so many videos and they put all the videos that you uh, that the true that you want to see on on uh, yeah. on the on YouTube mm -hmm. it's all down they make maybe 100 videos that you uh, on on YouTube and and the the they try to to convince uh, uh, Christians mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, Muhammad is the the last prophet and yeah and and my my big my biggest problem is with the uh, Adnan is yeah I I said the last video of David Wood and he said uh, give me one give me one uh, verse in the Quran. Yeah. That say that the Bible is corrupted, mm -hmm. and and uh, and Adnan, they conv uh, they say the Bible is not corrupted. He say that with <laughs> his own words, yeah, my, said, my brother. Yeah, exactly. With his own words, he say that. And the video, uh, I I told many people look the video, yeah. and a lot of Muslims they they laugh at me. They say you are know mm -hmm. nothing. I say I know better because ninety nine percent of the Muslims in Europe they don't understand the Quran. Exactly. They don't understand the, the hadith. Yeah. They just give it like like uh, like uh, the children. Uh, you say my father, my mother are Muslim. Yeah. Well, I don't know because if you talk about Islam, you say yeah, I don't know this verse. You are a liar. You, you, you say because uh, I'm a Muslim, you are uh, an ex-Muslim, you are a Christian, and that's why I don't. Uh, and a lot of Muslim that I have in my in my journey because I'm I go in street and and practice. Uh, the I go in street and give books, the Bibles to Muslims and read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Every debate you get with Muslims, they mock you down. Yeah, of course. They say you they have, have nothing to, to why, say. Why? You why? Have why? Yeah. Show us why how. Have to yeah. Why? yeah. Show us where where the Quran says that our gospel is corrupted. Show us where the Quran says that the Torah is corrupted. We have been challenging Muslims for many years now. Show us, and, yeah, and no and, Muslim and, can provide any ayah. Only blah, and, uh, blah, 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 nothing else. No, no and, uh, proof, nothing. And I have a lot of, of uh, because I delete so many people on, on, uh, on Facebook, on, on, uh, on, uh, on social media. You know, you know why? Because they attack all, all the time the Bible. The Bible dead, the Bible yeah. dead. They are attacking and, the and Bible the of Allah, right? They are attacking the Torah and the Gospel of Allah. How sweet but, of them. But How the Bible, they? my They're my all brother. cute, yeah. The Bible is never yeah. corrupted because the Quran sent you to the Bible. Mm. And the biggest problem about Muslims, they are they saying like Jesus is the Messiah. In the Quran, say Jesus is the Messiah. Yeah. In the Quran, they say they, they say yeah, a lot well, of times. Yeah, well, Messiah. Yeah, Jesus is the Messiah, of course. According Jesus is the yeah. Messiah of in the yeah. Quran. Yeah, but is why the, why is he the Messiah? I I mean, want I want to answer uh, from any Muslim. I want the answer. Why is Jesus, the Messiah. Muslims are big hypocrites, my yeah. friends. You know why? You never, never say, never yeah. say out this mouth that mm -hmm. Jesus is the true because Jesus have no sin, have nothing, have mm -hmm. nothing in his life. Yeah. His blood is pure, my friend. Of course. And I told Even you, according love, to love the Quran, right? Of course. Ulam and Zakiya, he is pure, holy. Yeah. And let me, you know, if you debate Muslims, yeah. they, they, they are run away. Because yeah. they know, they know the Quran is true. Yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you something. Mm -hmm. If you say no, the Quran is say like some yeah. words you don't can you don't can translate. Yeah, my friend, I have a question for you. You said uh, and people, everybody heard you. You uh, left Islam. What is the good best reason for you? What 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 made you actually leave Islam? What made you to decide to leave this man-made cult called Islam a couple of years ago? Can you can you? share a small testimony with us what made you leave islam what was the final decision for you hey this cannot be true i have to leave islam go ahead my friend because because the prophet uh, the prophet in in the islam is all about the prophet you can uh, mug allah you have never mug the prophet mm. and also in the salat yeah also in the salat, guys do you hear um, what our friend is saying you can mock Allah, you can call Allah all kind of names, you, you can Allah insult any, Allah, anything. but you, if you insult Muhammad, your head will come off clean, right? That's what you're yeah. saying, right? Yeah, they kill you. Yeah. They kill you from, if you talk yeah. about Muhammad, they kill you. Yeah. They kill you, really they kill you, because so, I have 
Absolutely. Are you basically saying that the real God of Islam is Muhammad and not Allah? Is that what you're saying? Basically? Yeah, of course, because, yeah, because see, see everything guys, of... He, at no, least the this, this guy is you know, honest. He was a Muslim. He knows what he's talking about. Right? Of course. And, yeah. and I, I love in all my journey in, in the Islam. I know every single word, my friend. Every yeah. single word in the Quran. I read the Quran more than 16 times. Wow. I know every verse in the Amen. Quran. Yeah. No people can 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 uh, can take my help. I I I read uh, I read Al Bukhari, the ten books of Bukhari, Al Bukhari. Wow, wow. imagine yeah. every every Good word job, in Bukhari friend. is not yeah. is 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 not possible for me to read because he say in the Quran in the Hadith yeah. he say a lot of things, and it's Sahih, my friend. You don't you don't can can uh, can mix the the Hadith. Uh, no Sahih. <laughs> it's right in the hadith and yeah. the muslims say no because yeah. the 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 ulama the the, the scholars yeah. the scholars the the right everything there the right everything because you know why what's funny is mm. everything in islam is about muhammad has muhammad have all yeah. the, the the things about he yeah. say i i have uh, i have rights to 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 get 11 yeah. uh, uh wives you know you have four wives and you have yeah. 11 wives Mm. You know, I have. Uh, you know, you know the the story about uh, it's uh, the the abducted son from uh, Muhammad. Yes, go ahead. He, 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 uh, with his wife. Yeah, 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 of course. Go ahead. He take his wife and he kill all her family. Yeah. You, you, you think that it's normal? mafia leader, right? He's a mafia, of course. You, you think it's, it's normal, normal for Muhammad? Yeah. And then and then you 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 see the the people yeah. in uh, in. Uh, in, in the street and the, you talk about the Muhammad, Muhammad say that, Muhammad yeah. and, and, and if you say Muhammad, you say you have to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, my friend, can you read Arabic? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah? Okay, uh, if you can read Arabic, can you read what it says on the screen? Do you do you see the screen? that I highlighted it for you, can you read it? Wait, and translate, maybe I'm, maybe, maybe I'm, because, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm lying. YouTube. Okay, let me read it and can you translate, okay? Guys, he, he, he understands Arabic, so he's going to translate what I am going to read. My friend, I'm going to read it and please translate for the people, okay? Al-Ashr, right, the tenth, Al-Ashr. إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَىٰ إِمْرَأَ وَاجِبْ عَلَىٰ زَوْجِهَا طَلَاقُهَا وَحَلَّ لَهُ نِكَاحُهَا Please translate. Um, it's difficult to translate, but it's it's uh, because I'm, my English is not so very very good. Try, my friend. Try, no problem. It says like uh, nikah is is uh, yeah you have uh, sex with the nikah is uh, is uh, yeah is uh, how you call it in the sex, sex with another woman. No sex 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 intercourse, right? Yeah, it sex says. Intercourse. Let yeah. me let me help. It says okay. if if Muhammad, you know, Muhammad had sixteen privileges, right? No yeah. Muslim man have. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi for chapter 33, ayah 50. Yeah. It says, if Muhammad looks uh, uh, to a woman and he, fought, you know, he lost for her, basically. Her husband, right? She's a married woman. Her husband, her Muslim yeah. husband must divorce her immediately. And Muhammad can start to F her immediately. So he must give her to to Muhammad, her husband must divorce her and give her to Muhammad so Muhammad can do nikah to her. Yeah. What do you and think about Muhammad? If you are a Muslim and you hear this, you never heard this before and you hear this for the first time, what would your response be, my friend? What would your reaction be? It's, it, that, that's that's the, the, the verses that I, yeah. that I don't un understand. You know why? Yeah, basically, my friend, let me let me put it this way. Sorry for interrupting. Let me put it this way. You are okay. walking on the street. You are walking on the street with, with your wife. God yeah. forbid, yeah? You are walking on the street with your wife. And another yeah. man looks at your wife and he comes to you and he says, I fall in love with your wife. Give me to give her to me. You must divorce and give it to, to me. What would you do to this? What would you say to this guy? It's, it's uh, not possible, my friend. <laughs> uh, what, what are you going to do? You're going to... You know, you knock him out. The, 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 You're yeah, going to knock him out, right? Yeah. It's <laughs> but my imagine wife, you know? Muhammad. Muhammad calls himself a man of God, the last prophet, the seal of all the prophets, and he says, you know, in the, in Tafsir says only Muhammad, right? According to Al Qurtubi Tafsir, only Muhammad, if he looks at a married woman, her husband must immediately divorce her and give her to Muhammad, so Muhammad can have sex with her. Is this a, a prophet or is this a? Filthy, disgusting, fake prophet. 
You can the, be the judge of that, people who are listening. You can be the judge of that, guys. Oh, ha, ha, Islam, ha, you know, the, the... No dignity, no honor, no, no respect. The, yeah. How no Islam came, yeah. how Islam came to, to the, with the sword. They kill people for 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 uh, forget about forget Islam. about that, my friend. This is talking about a Muslim married woman. It's a Muslima. Y your wife as a Muslim man. If Muhammad looks at your wife, you as a Muslim man must divorce her and give her to Muhammad. Forget about sex slaves. This is talking about Muslim women. Okay, That's right? what I say about the, about the, um, his adopted son, his wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, Zayd, Zayd, yeah, the, the son yeah. of Muhammad. Muhammad goes to it, to the house of his son. This is how the story goes, right? I mentioned it earlier when I was spanking Adnan Rashid. When, imagine Muhammad goes to see his son Zayd bin Muhammad. At that time, he was his adopted son. He was considering him to be his adopted son. Basically your own son, right? So Muhammad goes and he knocks, knock, knock on the door. Nobody's home. Muhammad opens the door. I mean, your son, you know, your son is married and he has a woman. You know, why would you go enter if you if you don't hear your son screaming back? Yeah, I'm here, dad, come, come in. Anyway, Muhammad goes inside the house. Zaid is not there. And Muhammad sees the naked body, right, of mm -hmm. his daughter-in-law, Zainab bint Jash. And he says immediately after seeing her naked, beautiful body, he says, Subhana muqallab al qulub Glory to Allah who turns heart. Make my heart start to beat for you. And he blames Allah for falling in love with his own daughter. Can you imagine? Yeah. And, and It's in the Quran, and, right? It's, it's in the Quran. It's, it's crazy, my right? friend. It's crazy. You know, you know why, why I, I, I saw... <laughs> you know, you know the ayah, right? <laughs> Chapter 33, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 uh, you know, uh, the, the, the problem is now that, that they, they are not, they know, but they, they, they don't confess, they don't confess the truth. Because if you, sometimes I have black and white on paper, black and white, you know, you know what I mean? He said, "Look, read, my friend. Read what what said. You look in the in the in the uh, in the in the book. What the hadith say? Al Bukhari. You know a lot of different things there. And in the Quran, what what it say there? You know, Qatulul yeah, 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 exactly. It's it's yeah. not. They it, it, say kill the the, yeah. the Jews and 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 the Christians. Yeah, Muhammad said, I have been commanded to fight everyone who does not accept Islam. Right? You don't accept me as a prophet. Your blood, uh, your women, they uh, you know they are not going to be safe from me. But if you accept Islam, you convert. Right? You're going you know, to your, your 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 women, your blood, your your wealth are going to be safe. You're going to be protected. You know, you know what you say. The, the the problem with Muslims is why you say Allahu Akbar. Why you say Allahu Akbar? I have what no idea, Akbar? my friend. Go ahead. Why? Why you say Akbar? Why? Why? You know, I gonna tell you something. Akbar yeah. it means like big. Big, yeah. Big. Yeah. Why? How big? Yeah. Tell me yeah, how big. Yeah, Allahu Akbar. Allah is 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 greater. But what? You know, but Allah, who greater? Who? Yeah, who? Then who? Exactly. Then, then who? who? Is there tell someone me, else? Tell me that. Exactly. Tell me that. Then who? Yeah. yeah. Is there another Allah who is bigger than Allah? Allahu Akbar. You know, that is the, the <laughs> that is my, my look. Yeah. Allah Akbar, it's, it's, it, 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 uh, if you have to understand it, because it's, it, it says. Bro, I know Arabic. Allah, I understand exactly what you mean. I know. Yeah, and you say Allah <laughs> yeah. Akbar. Yeah, Allah's Allah. greater than who? Like, than who? Exactly, than who? Um, yeah, than who? You're correct. Than yeah. who? Than, than and, who? And Allah is greater than who? Allah. That Akbar. is the first. That is the first question that I give to Muslims. Yeah. They, they don't cannot, They don't understand what I, they say. You are yeah. crazy. I say no, my friend. Yeah. Why am I crazy? I tell you. Actually, you're who. very smart, my friend. I'm really happy for you that you left Islam and you became a Christian, right? So yeah. I'm really happy for you. What about your family? Did they leave Islam too? Um, I have a couple of family members who live in Islam also, yeah. Oh, wow. Nice, nice. nice. And, uh, and you know why? Because, uh, because you know, yeah. I have, uh, I have one of my nephew. Yeah. He was a former Iman. He studied nine years in, uh, in Medina in Saudi Arabia. 
yeah. السعودية في السعودية واو was... wow. heart of Islam yeah yeah I know Saudi things, Arabia you know, yeah yeah I I I mock because you know I see nobody say to me like That's no good, the man. verses yeah. the verses tell me that not uh, the the verses on the mm-hmm. the, the hadiths and and the Quran it's it's not the same of the Bible because the mm-hmm. Bible God forbid never man changed. God forbid yeah it's an insult Islam is an insult in the eyes. It's an insult for our holy living God, right? Why, I mean, why, why Jesus said on the cross, yeah, yeah. I am the true, and uh, he said, he, who? It's finished. He said it's yeah, finished, it's right? Finished. Yeah, it's finished. Jesus said, I'm yeah. done. I'm, I'm, I, I, every, every prophet or every, in the Bible said also, every yeah. prophet who came after me is a false prophet. Yeah, yeah exactly. And when Muhammad, you know, when, Je- sorry, when Jesus said on the cross, it's finished, we didn't need any new prophet like Muhammad to come and destroy the teaching of Jesus. Jesus said it's finished means it's finished. It's over, right? It's over, my friend. All, all the prophecies were that Moses, all, all the prophets wrote about Jesus. Jesus himself said, uh, people like Moses wrote about me. They wrote about me. So yeah. why do we need Muhammad when Jesus says on the cross, it's finished? Yeah, it's, it's finished. It's, it's crazy. And we don't need of, Islam, we don't need Muhammad, we don't need Allah. It's over. You know? Yeah, that proves lot, that Muhammad is false. Exactly. Mm, yeah. And you have a lot of lot of uh, of things that that yeah. between the, the the Quran and the Bible is like six hundred and thirty years. Yeah. Why God have to wait so long? Yeah. So all the people six hundred and thirty years to wait for to have a new prophet yeah. coming. My friend, right. can you can you give any advice? You know, be, because we have many other callers. Can you give any advice to the Muslims who are watching? Why why sh- they should leave Islam like you before we close the call? Because uh, look the the Bible, but you, with your heart, and don't think, don't read like uh, like a mm-hmm. like a newspaper, mm-hmm. and uh, put the Bible and put the Quran between. Yeah. And, and beside read. each other and, and see the see the, see the difference. difference exactly my say friend. what jesus said yeah because islam he don't give you the 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 turning in life Amen, because the prophet friend. the prophet Amen. was also not yeah. sure of the turning in life yeah, exactly. but jesus said jesus said on the cross uh like jesus said i'm the true and the life mm-hmm. nobody can to come to the father than him Ana huwa al-tariq wal haq wal hayat I am the way the truth and life exactly thank you for calling and my friend I, no I really problem, friend. I really enjoyed this call we have many thank callers you. sorry and uh, okay. God bless you and ho- hopefully you the rest of the family will leave uh, Islam like you did and Amen. you know I, I we have hope for everybody we have hope okay, for everybody. this brother. is why we do this thank, thank you for you, calling God thank bless you. you God bless you too my brother bye. thank bye. you bye 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 Oh, that was amazing. It's always amazing to talk to ex-Muslims who became Christians like this gentleman and he just shared that many of his Muslim members, sorry, uh, family members left Islam too and became Christians. Let's see who this person is. Hello, you're live on air? Hello? 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 Mute, mute YouTube please, mute YouTube. Um, Mute YouTube because uh, you have to talk through Skype only. Mute YouTube. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, um, um, I just want to thank you for what you're doing and uh, the Lord will increase you and the Lord will multiply you. Thank you. For greeting. Thank you. And also, I agree that, uh, that everyone should support the work that you are doing, uh, which mm-hmm. also. My friend, can you come closer? Can you come closer to the mic? Because I I don't hear every word you say. You have to come closer. To the mic. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear yeah. Me now? Yeah. Now it's better. Okay. I think. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, I just want. I have one thing. That I have a question. Yes. And uh, and my question is in uh, Surah chapter thirty-three. Chapter uh, thirty-three. Surah, yeah. Chapter thirty-three, verse. Um, I think from, if you look, uh, let me look at it, from, from uh, Shura 33, verse 53, I think um, if I read um, the, the Quran say, you have been, oh, okay, all you 
who believe do not enter the house of the prophet except when yes, it's permitted. That, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So when you look yeah. at the verse, there's one text there that says that Allah, Muhammad is shy, yeah. but Allah is not shy to tell you this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah, go now, ahead. When you, look, when you look at this very well, now, after who received this uh, very yeah. message, yeah. I, I had the message passed on to the Muslim. Is it by Muhammad or by someone else? Yeah. My, um, if the if the if, if the my question is if God said to uh to the people that uh, Allah Muhammad is shy, but yeah. Allah is not shy. Yeah. Now, who came about the message? Is it Muhammad himself that delivered the message? Yeah. Come close I mean, to the, the mic, my friend. Come close to the mic. Okay. Okay. Who, who came to who delivered the message to the people? Who yeah. delivered the message to the people? Is it Muhammad or or Angel Gabriel? Muhammad is fabricating eyes, my friend. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's, no, what, there's what, nothing what, called Allah. It's, you know, it's Muhammad. Now, what I'm trying to bring out of this is like, so God says somebody is shy, yeah. but you are the person that delivered the message. I mean, the person that is shy is yeah. the one that delivered the message at the end. I mean, that makes, it makes no sense. Like, mm -hmm. I'm shy, but God is telling me that I'm shy, yeah. that he's not shy. So, but go and tell them that you are shy. But go, Allah is not shy. But you are the one that came out <laughs> yeah, why, why does Allah need to protect Muhammad all the time, right? Isn't yes, there sir. something yes, fishy? Is, isn't there something fishy going on that all, every time Muhammad needs help, you know, Allah comes out, out of nowhere. Hey, it's me, Allah. I'm coming to help Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad is shy, but I'm not shy, right? Yeah, yes. This, this proves, you know, that Muhammad every time, you know, he's uh, he's getting annoyed. Uh, he, suddenly, out of nowhere, Allah comes. His sock puppet comes out of his, uh, you know, sock uh, out of his out, out of the back and says, "Hey, uh, uh, guys, you have to go. Uh, uh, Muhammad uh, will not tell you to go, but I'm here to tell you, please go. Muhammad wants to be alone. Uh, why? I mean, why? Why is the, why can we find such embarrassing stuff in the Quran?" Uh, I have no idea, my friend. This proves actually I, I, I that believe, Muhammad, you know, was fabricating. Exactly. I believe, like, uh, yeah. like I believe that uh, it's just a man saying something is not God, because God already said that you are shy, yeah. but God is not shy. Why yeah. you are the one that delivered the message? Like <laughs> when you look in the scripture, yeah. God used many different prophets to deliver the message, not mm -hmm. you. Like Moses, God never gave Moses. A great privilege for yourself if, yeah. if we are serving the same god exactly I realize in the scripture bro god never it's an smart. insult it's an insult to call allah uh, god of uh, of the bible it's a huge insult you're basically calling satan god of the bible right yeah, yes because i believe that god satisfied yeah. prophet muhammad than anyone because if it's moses moses never have a privilege to marry yeah. any woman Mm -hmm. Joshua never have any no. to have to sleep. Do you remember the, do, so, since you since you just remembered it? Do you remember the story of King David when King David yes. sinned? Did God say to yes. him, "Hey, you, you you have done good job, uh, King David," or did God said to him, "What have you done?" And he punishes King, King David. But yes. here, but Allah it seems that Allah is the you know is is doing the opposite. Everything every time Muhammad does something wrong. Muhammad falls in love with his, with his daughter-in-law, right? Muha yes. Instead of instead of uh, punishing him, right? Instead of Allah punishing him, he says, "No, no, it's okay, my boy. Go take her. It's she's yours, right? Go take her." Yes, yeah. it's true. Uh, another thing again that uh, I want to make out of this that uh, yeah. um, I realized that uh, 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 three point I will let go because I know the other people have to call. Yeah, there are I many people. Yeah. Why? Why the, mm. the Muslims always go against the poor, poor the apostle? Mm. Because if you look Galatians chapter one verse eight said, mm. if any message being preached apart, apart from this message, yeah. let the person be cause. Mm -hmm. So Paul, by revelation from God, yeah. already put cause on any message that mm. is coming apart from the gospel that Jesus died and he resurrected from dead. So mm -hmm. I realized that why the Muslim always going after uh, Paul. That Paul is, we are going up because Paul said through the revelation of God, 
if any message preached apart from this message that we deliver to you, let mm-hmm. the person be cause, mm-hmm. which I believe Muhammad brought another message different from mm-hmm. the message that Jesus Christ died and he resurrected from the dead, uh, amen, which friend. I believe the, by revelation, the God already gave the prophecy about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And I, that's why the people, the Muslim go after Paul. Mm. And Paul is not a, 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 a mm. disciple of God. We are following Paul. My, my friend, we don't care about what they have to say about Paul. I mean, we know we know how, you know, God, because of Jesus, how Paul became a totally different man. He was, he was evil. He was persecuting Christians. And the moment Jesus, our holy God, appears before him, Paul suddenly becomes a totally new man. My friend, I have many many callers. Thank you so much for calling me. You're I have welcome, to try. Welcome. I have to Thank try you. to accept other calls too. Right. Thank, Thank you for calling you. and God bless you. Bye. All right. Bye. I know, guys. I know that our brother David Wood is going to go live soon. Uh, I don't, guys. I don't really want to become a stumbling block for this great brother in Christ. Uh, I think it's not a bad idea. I just noticed that, guys. It's almost you know, a couple of minutes, and they will go live. Let us let us keep the rest of the calls, guys, for the next time. All right. I know there are many d- dear and great brothers in Christ, like David Wood, like Christian Prince, who wants to do live shows. So, you know, I think I want to leave it here. All right. I think we had an amazing live show again. We showed you how Mr. Ahda Adnan Rashid spanked himself, condemned his own prophet, right? He called his own prophet a disgusting, filthy man. He convoting. Your prophet was doing uh, the thing that you speak against. Are you calling your own prophet a Munah Islam? It's damaging Muhammad and you're condemning your own prophet and proving to everybody that Muhammad is nothing but a disgusting Man, you're condemning him, my friend. You're condemning Abu Bakr, right? You're condemning your prophet who said, go buy it on the penis of your fathers. You're condemning Abu Bakr who said, go lick the clitoris or go suck on the clitoris of Alad. Guys, thank you for watching. God bless you. Go in peace. The peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For to the Muslims. It must be really shameful to watch how your Muslim heroes like Adnan Rashid go down every time they make a video. Every time they make a video, we use it against them and show you how people like Adnan Rashid, people like Muhammad Hijab, who said, Allah prays for, not to the Prophet, right? Every time they open their mouth, we can use what they say against them and against their prophet and turn it against their prophet in the court of law. Guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe. May Jesus bless you and your loved ones. Thank you for watching. I love you. Hopefully, we will see each other again in a future live show. Thank you for watching and God bless.